Hello, when you go to the website of mainframe.co.uk and click on products, you find the Pro Sets 1.0. Probably when you watch this video years later, it will be totally integrated in Maya, but this is the starting point. And uh, just to uh, remind you, mainframe.co.uk is the developer of MASH in Maya, M-A-S-H. So a very interesting, if not revolutionary module, which uh, adds so much fun and uh, perspective to Maya. Uh, Prosets is uh, dealing with a very basic thing, and I think it's easily worth the, the money. And uh, before I show you what it's about um, I show you how to install it this is the uh, installation file which comes with it uh, copy the process folder to whatever and in the plugins folder of Maya and the process.mod file into the modules file in the program files uh, folder subfolder Maya 2018 once you've um, done this you go to Maya you open Maya again or you quit it and open it again go to settings preferences plugin manager and here you because this is such a long menu here you just uh, type in pro here for example and here you see blah 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 and uh, now you have process.mll that's what we need and we load it once we click here, we see this icon appear here. This is the Pro Sets icon. Um, and uh, if you want to uh, experiment with Pro Sets uh, after the next start of Maya, just click Auto Load and it will be. You don't have to visit this menu again. Okay, um, I show you briefly what this is about. The basic idea is this when you create. Uh, basically any kind of subject it comes object it comes with a history and the history of that polyplane shape here for example sits here uh, it's a history which contains information about the width the height the subdivisions etc uh, there's a shading group attached to it and a Lambert shader attached to it let's uh, change that shader assign a new material and uh, let's pick uh, another Lambert and give that Lambert uh, a red color. So uh, here is the, uh, that's the hierarchy and it's called the history. When I go to edit and delete by type history, all the uh, makings of this object will be gone so later on I won't be able to directly manipulate for example how many patches it has etc I won't do this now um, uh, so this is the history now um, let's select one of the faces here right mouse button face and just pick one randomly and go to extrude you don't have it go to modeling and uh, it's here on the mesh tools as well uh, extrude very basic uh, function in uh, polygon modeling so uh, how far shall we ex uh, extend uh, extend it uh, we'll extract it up to here so that's all now um, now right mouse click object mode um, now you have um, the polyplane here the polyplane shape and uh, the poly extrude face this is the extrusion and you can uh, change many things uh, about the extrusion for example the subdivisions like these so the local translation the local center is in the middle etc lots of things the smoothing angle um, so it's another node it's in the history of that object which used to be a plane we can enter the pro set world now so in order to invoke this, we could click here and drag with the middle mouse button the polyplane, which is here, into this area. I won't do this because I prefer the other uh, way. I select this object, press and hold the Alt key and click the poly set. 
icon. A menu uh, jumps up asking select the history node to use. I want to use the poly extrude face one history node. That's the extrusion I did. There's this thing here. And now I continue. And the um, extrusion is gone. But I have the uh, menu set here. Here is the polyplane shape, which I could have dragged dro uh, and dropped here with the middle mouse button as well. Here I have the component mode uh, selected to set to face. And here I have two parameters which are uh, crucial for the beginning of this uh, process. The percentage. How many percent of uh, the extrusion do I want? Well, let's move this slider to the right. And you see how the single extrusion we did starts from that top part here and distributes all over the place. Now we have a block of things, which is uh, maybe not too interesting, but it basically does something which is very interesting. It plays with a history node of that object. If we want to grow the selection to this side, from this side, um, we don't have to go step by step by step by step. We can just start here and grow it into that direction. And by the way, if you introduce a uh, Skydome light, this renders just fine. And it's an intact geometry, so uh, on the fly you create a, a totally different object here. Now let's have a look at a more complicated object. Right mouse click here and create an ultra shape, which looks like this. Give it the existing material of the red Lambert. And here you have the history, the history currently consists of only con the construction of this object here. And when you click on random, you get these random um, variations here. Lots of variations. And uh, I think I stick to this one. And now I will delete a face. And uh, just this one. Press delete. So it, there's a hole here now. Since ProSet doesn't care where I did the hole, but just uh, reacts to that I did create a hole, uh, this will be uh, applied to the whole object now. OK, Alt and P, Delete Component is now in our history of that object. No extrusion, whatever, just the deletion here. Now the hole is gone, and uh, we can uh, raise the percentage. And it makes holes all over the place until there's nothing left of that object. And you can use the grow selection as well. Now what happens if you use the modulus? This happens when you use the modulus and it works together with the settings up here. So you can shrink the whole thing and now you have this crown sort of thing. What is a modulus? Uh, well, look it up in the Wikipedia. It's called the modulo operation. It has been around in mathematics for hundreds of years, but it's uh, in the modern computing. It's very important. Uh, it's the remain remainder after division. And uh, it looks a little bit like a random function here, but uh, it isn't. So the modulo does several things to your object, which you can of course, uh, use in many different ways. Um, does this render in um, Arnold? So this is uh, perfectly rendered here. So uh, finally, I want to show you this just introductory here. Watch the Ian Waters videos uh, to get more detail. Uh, let's delete this object and let's delete the two lights. This cube comes with uh, subdivisions 1, 1, 1. Let's raise them to 2, 
2 and 2. This time I want to pick not a face but an edge. So what I'll do now is I extrude an edge here, up here, which is a very common process in, uh, in modeling of course. And then I go to right mouse click object mode, I press and hold the Alt key, click on P, uh, poly extrude edge, continue. And now when I raise this, nothing happens because the component mode is set to face. I guess and in waters indicated that uh, it will be uh, automatically detected in the next version. So this time we have to switch the pull down menu to edge and then the edge does work. Now it covers the whole block. Enjoy modeling with this tool.